R. Kelly, you're going to jail now. As you may already know, R. Kelly surrendered to the police on Friday after he was charged with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. There were four victims in a range in ages of 13 to 17. These were indictments that stemmed all the way back to 1998. If this is your first time here, welcome to Messy World. You love Messy and we're here to bring it. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So Michael Avenitti, the lawyer who is representing one of the victims, says the new sex tape he turned over to prosecutors shows R. Kelly engaging in sex acts with a 14 year old girl. He was engaging in acts of vaginal sex, oral sex, anal sex, and urination. Mm, disgusting. Go ahead and look at this video. He's guilty of multiple sexual illegal acts against a 14 year old girl. The tape was shot in uh, the late 90s, approximately 1999. It depicts two separate scenes shot on two separate days within Mr. Kelly's residence at the time. The audio on the tape is clearly, uh, you can clearly listen to it. It is clear. The video is far superior than the video that was used in connection with the 2008 trial. It is an entirely different video. Repeatedly on the video, both the victim and Mr. Kelly refer to the victim's age as being 14. That occurs in excess of 10 separate times on the video. Both the victim and Mr. Kelly can be heard referencing her age. It is also clear from other things that are depicted on the video that this was in no way role-playing during some sexual act. It is clear that this young lady was 14 years of age during the time the video was shot. So Avenetti says he's planning to go after R. Kelly's and enablers, lawyers, managers, agents, and others whom he says stood idly by and protected the singer as he was sexually abusing these young girls. Avenetti's mission is bringing R. Kelly and his enablers to justice. All right, so go ahead and see what he has to say about it. I want to send a message to the enablers of Mr. Kelly, to the agents and the managers and the attorneys and the others who stood idly by and looked the other way and turned a blind eye while teenage girls were sexually assaulted for over two decades. I will not rest until each of you is brought to justice. We will uncover evidence relating to your participation in these crimes. Mr. Kelly did not do this alone. He did so with the assistance of all of these folks. And it was all, let's be clear, in the interest of money. These people, these agents, these attorneys, and these managers they looked the other way while these young girls were taken advantage of instead of doing the right thing because they didn't want to kill the golden goose. They didn't want to interfere with their own individual paydays. And as far as I'm concerned, they are just as guilty as the predator R. Kelly. It is disgusting. And every parent in America should be disgusted not only by the conduct of Mr. Kelly, but by those that turned a blind eye, that looked the other way while this occurred for over two decades. So R. Kelly is facing serious time behind bars, and I hope this time that he does not get off because as you know, he has been sued by multiple women accusing him of sex, having sex with them when they were underage. But most cases, with the exception of the trial where he was acquitted, have been settled out of court. So what he is being charged with now, the criminal sexual abuse charge, is a class two felony in Illinois. And each charge carries a max sentence of three to seven years in prison. So if they lay the smack down on him, R. Kelly could be spending the rest of his life in jail where he belongs, pedophile. And R. Kelly's lawyer had the nerve to claim that he is innocent of all these charges and that the victims are lying. I know that's his job, but it's just disgusting that he would still claim that R. Kelly is innocent. Dykeman has some real graphic details. Well, you already heard it in the video, so I won't read, but they are pretty disgusting. And it's time for R. Kelly to go down. I don't think he will get off this time. 
And I'm glad this lawyer, Michael Avenini, is on a mission to take R. Kelly down because it's just real disgusting what he has done to these young girls. You know, now where some of them are women and also he is right. The enablers deserve to be brought to justice as well. So we're going to continue to watch what happens. But let us know what you think. Are you glad they got new and improved evidence to take R. Kelly down? And do you think this is where the buck stops and R. Kelly will finally be brought to justice? Or is the Pied Piper going to continue to blow his pipes and lead the children astray? God forbid. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more.